Hello and welcome to our interview with Matthew McGinn, CEO of Boulogne Shire Council. Matthew has had a diverse career working in the retail sector, managing large supermarkets and department stores in the association environment as CEO of an economic development member-based association and in both state and federal governments. He has also worked as a consultant to North Queensland Bulk Ports Corporation before moving to local government as CEO of Burdekin Shire Council. Matthew is an LGMA board director and joins us from St George. Welcome, Matthew. Thank you. Matthew, you made the deci decision to ensure all your directors had undertaken the executive management program. Why would a council invest that amount in this program, both money and time? Basically, I found that the Directors need to have access to people and be trained by people who've done the job and have intimate knowledge of the job. And LGMA provides that because it is the Local Government Managers Association and its members are all employed in the local government sector. So it makes sure that the training is relevant to the day-to-day -day challenges that we all face. Another reason is that I believe uh, it assists in the professional development of directors who are aspiring to be CEOs and the pool of CEOs available for different councils is not as uh, deep as it perhaps could or should be and we need to get directors trained up and ready to take on those roles. So if you like it's all about succession planning and making sure that we have a talent pool what has been the long-term benefit to your organisation? The most obvious one is you get an increased knowledge and awareness about the local government environment in which we operate and give people the skills to make decisions within that framework. You also make sure that your senior leadership group members are all on the same page or at least have the same knowledge and awareness imparted to them so that it should help make better and more informed decisions. It's also practical training and it's translatable and transferable to any council across the state. So it gives you the capacity to basically be working here in Boulogne and tomorrow you could be at Cookshire. So it doesn't matter. The training is relevant. The training is based on uh, real life experiences and it's trained by people who are practitioners uh, in the local government environment. What advice would you give to other CEOs or managers looking to put staff on the program who would benefit or who can maximise from their investment? Professional development is the responsibility of all CEOs and managers with their teams. So this is the perfect program that is based on practical, relevant knowledge and experience. And it's also highly cost effective for all councils to be able to participate in this program. Any final words on the program? I think this is a must-do program for aspiring leaders and those of us that who, who wish to refresh their, uh, their knowledge because obviously we, keep need, we need to be reminded continually about our roles and responsibilities so this training is an effective platform for that. I think it's a very down-to-earth program loaded as I said with all that lived experience and examples so I would commend it to any CEO or manager looking to upskill their employees. Thank you for your time today Matthew. My pleasure.